The border town of Garo Bulai in eastern Cameroon is home to thousands of refugees. Many are here after fleeing violence in the Central African Republic. And although they are safe, they lack essentials like water, food and shelter. Aid organizations like Medicines and Frontiers are appealing for more help to provide for them. At the moment the situation for the people in Garo Bulai and in the other sites along the frontier is simply unacceptable. These people have been suffering for too long and are extremely vulnerable. If the situation continues to get worse in the Central African Republic, we can expect a lot more people to arrive, bearing in mind that the current response is inadequate. According to the MSF, an estimated 22,000 have fled to Cameroon since the start of the year. Christian militia known as anti Balaka have exacted brutal reprisals against the Muslim minority who they accuse of supporting the rebels. Counterinsurgencies have continued despite the presence of 2,000 French and 6,000 African Union peacekeepers. Those who have fled have horrific stories to tell. It's difficult with the anti Balakas in small villages, they trouble us a lot. They killed my father, my mother, my big sister, and the rest of the family as well. Many are left wondering what will happen to their future and whether they can still go home. What's going to happen tomorrow to my children? They've become stateless because not only are they not at home, but I've taken them from school. I had to force them to come here because the anti balaka said that all Muslims are selekas. We also say that all Christians are anti balakas Well, you see, it's going to end badly. We will never agree between us. The crisis has driven around one million people from their homes. Many of them have fled to neighboring Cameroon, Chad, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The World Food Program warned recently that the exodus could spark a regional crisis as countries struggle to accommodate the refugees, a warning echoed by the MSF, which runs the Garu Bulai camp and has been providing medical treatment to the refugees. The medical charity, however, says so much more needs to be done. Jan Mungeli, CCTV.